So one piece of standard equipment you're gonna find on just about every overland vehicle is the awning. And everybody loves their 270 degree gaunt awning. We loved it. It was fantastic. We had a bat wing. It was super cool. It worked very well with the rooftop tent, but I found that it wasn't going to work so well with the Overland camper setup. So we switched gears. For us, it's the Dragonfly tarp. So we're going to talk about how to set this thing up, the different ways we can set this thing up. And at the end of the video, we're going to give you two reasons why we feel like this is better than the 270 degree awning that we had previous to this. So this thing weighs probably 20 pounds, the whole package. So it comes in three pieces. You get this, you get the poles, you get a little tent, little steak bag. And the whole thing is super lightweight, which is nice. So at the heart of the Dragonfly system is, depending on where you are at in the world or in the States, uh, is this Keter rope or Keter rope. So it's a PVC rope that has uh, fabric or nylon or something very strong tied to it. And that's what they sew the actual fabric of the tarp to. So this is the heart of the system. Keter. Keter. So part two of the uh, system is the C channel. Uh, this thing is ultra lightweight. It is nothing more than VHB taped to the camper with a couple small screws on either end just to hold it all together. Uh, I don't even think those are necessary. If you know how strong VHB tape is, uh, you, you know you're not gonna have to worry about this thing pulling apart. You slide your getter keter. Right on in. So then they give you this little key here. You can just drop it into this hole. And that'll keep it from, uh, from falling out. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stake these down. Our poles are about nine feet long. If you have a shorter vehicle, you can easily take out a section and shrink it down to a six foot tall. So depending on your, your setup, you might have a shorter vehicle you're trying to attach this to. It's completely modular. The pole just fits into this grommet. Give myself plenty of slack here. And we'll stake this one down over here, right in your face. Bring your pull up. Lengthen your strap. Let's take it down. Snug it up. One thing I do want to mention about the straps for this is they have this elastic piece, heavy duty elastic piece here on the end. So when the wind starts to blow at all, it really gives this thing a little bit of flex to move about so you're not tearing anything up. And all four of these cam straps have that. So it gives it a little bit of motion, a little bit of room to breathe. So as far as setups go, we generally have two ways that we set this up most of the time. So we're about 50-50 on it. This is one way we set it up. And then this is the other way that we usually have this set up. If Bob, the big orange ball, is uh, you know somewhat straight up above you, you get maximum shade coverage here. Or if you got a nice little sprinkle coming down, this is a good way to uh, get yourself covered up. Uh, so reconfiguring this is actually really simple and really easy. So all you gotta do is, is pull the poles from this grommet, move it over to that, ground, that grommet. But let's say uh, the sun's coming down and you wanna 
change the configuration. Maybe you got some downpour, some rain coming in or something, and you want to create a runoff and protect yourself a little bit differently. One easy way to do that is just pull a pull. You got that one sitting in the corner. You can just pull this pull off. Tighten down this strap. Now you've got that corner just angled down a little bit so the rain can flow down that way. But, oh, you're getting rain coming down this way? Oh, wait a second. Let's just move this pole over here. Loosen up this strap. And tighten up this one. Now you've got all your, all your rain and just heading off down to that corner. So you can just move this pull around into all four different grommets, change your configuration depending on where the sun or the rain is coming in, a little bit of wind coming in from the uh, backside there. This works perfect for that. Just like that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Let's say at the uh, end of the night, you're ready to go to bed, but you don't want to take this completely off and set it back up tomorrow. Let's just pull this pull down all together. Tighten all the straps down and you can just leave it set up like this. No wind is going to come and take it away this way. You got yourself a nice little garage underneath here. If you got your mountain bikes or whatever, your road bikes with you on your trip, stash them underneath there. You're good to go. So when you order this, you can have this completely custom made. So what I did is I measured the camper and how long I wanted to have that C channel up here. Uh, came out to be nine and a half feet. So I gave him that dimension right there. That's how long he made that Keter, 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 Keter. His standard, is 10 feet out. We opted for another two feet out. So we're actually 12 feet long going out. To give yourself all that shade, which is awesome. And then the way it wings out on the ends, like it just gives you a ton of space. Now, one of the big convincing factors for us to move away from our 270 degree awning and go with this setup is the fact that a standard awning when it's mounted is gonna have some sort of gap up here against the camper. So essentially you have a standalone awning space because if it's raining and downpouring, whatever, you've got rain ingress here by the camper. But with this setup, with this taped up the way it is, there is zero moisture coming into this point. So you can sit back against the camper and you're gonna stay dry. So lucky for you guys, we actually got a little bit of a uh, rain come in. So kind of just wanted to prove my point earlier said uh, that we don't get any water coming in at this seal here. So everything is pretty, pretty dry. And by pretty dry, I mean dry. That's probably the, one of the biggest factors and the biggest reason why we actually went with this style of awning for this camper. So, something to think about. Now, I promised you two reasons why I feel like this is a better setup than a mounted awning on your vehicle. This is one of the reasons, this is now the driver's side of the vehicle and we have a C-channel mounted over here. So if we need to, depending on how we're parked in our campsite, we don't have to adjust just because the awning is sitting on one side of the vehicle. We could just slide into this track over here and set it up every configuration you saw over there, we can do on this side, which is pretty sweet. And reason number two is your standalone option. So if you talk to Matt over at Dragonfly Tarps, you can have him set up, set yourself, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And talk to Matt over at Dragonfly Tarps when you get yours ordered and have him set you up so that you can use this thing as standalone option. He'll throw in a couple extra of these straps 
and uh, attach another little strap over to these corners so that you can hook everything up. Real simple, throw in a couple extra stakes for you and uh, you're able to set this up anywhere. You're at the beach, take it down to the beach, take it down to the water, set it up by itself, no truck needed, boom. It's awesome, get one. So also in freestanding mode, you could turn this thing into a uh, little lean-to. Sun's going down, you wanna keep yourself in some shade. Lean into it. So you can usually catch Matt and uh, Dragonfly Tarps at any of the Overland shows. Uh, we saw them last year up at the Northwest Overland Rally in Washington. That's where we placed our order for this. And uh, he'll always be at the Teton Overland Show as well up in Idaho. Uh, we'll be there as well. So if you're up there, stop by, say hi, get a close look at this and talk to Matt and uh, get, get one of these things on order if you haven't ordered it already. As usual, if you got any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, shoot them down in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, so appreciate you guys tuning in. You know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all your support and we'll catch you next time right here on Rome Bearded. I will say this, yeah, when I said I was selling the Batwing awning, I think she twitched a little bit. Like, what do you, what do you mean? But I'm pretty sure I cried. <laughs> she, may, she might have, there might've been tears. Yeah. There might've been tears. But then I saw this and after we set it up the first time, in love with it. Best decision ever.